So you got yourself a brand new Hero 6 and you recorded some footage in 4K, 60 frames per second because you ain't messing around and you can't watch them. You can't watch them on your phone, you can't watch them on your computer, or maybe you're thinking about getting a Hero 6 and you've heard some rumblings about having to convert your footage before you even watch it. Hey, this is Meredith and this is What the Fudge Month here on the VidPro Mom YouTube channel. I'm gonna be answering some GoPro questions and demystifying some of the weird conundrums that often leave new GoPro owners feeling confused and frustrated. We're gonna get really geeky today and talk about this new H.265 video format that the Hero 6 records in. But first I wanna direct your attention to a printable cheat sheet that I created for you along with a brief little training on how to avoid three common traps that I see new GoPro owners falling into like every day. I'll link that up at the end of this video or when you're done watching this video, you can just hit the link in the description below. All right, so back in the fall of 2017, GoPro released their Hero 6 camera and that camera on certain settings will actually record your video in a different format than we saw on previous GoPro models. Why would they do that? Well, the new format, H.265 or HEVC, High Efficiency Video Coding, is actually better than the previous format, which was H.264 or AVC, Advanced Video Coding. It's better because it allows your camera to capture super high resolutions and high frame rates and still maintain really high image quality even after it's compressed. That sounds great, right? Well, the downside is that not all phones and computers are up to that HEVC standard yet. That's why you may have to convert your H.265 files from your Hero 6 into the H.264 format to use them on some phones and computers. If you have a newer phone and a fairly new computer, it may not be a problem for you. In fact, if you have Windows 10 operating system, then it probably won't be a problem for you either. If you're on a Mac, the GoPro website says that you need to have a MacBook that's 2016 or or newer. Mine is a 2015 and I've updated it to the Mac OS High Sierra and I could play this H.265 file but when I imported it into Premiere Pro I got a warning I had to download a special thing so that I could edit the H.265 file. You may run into that regardless of your operating system depending on what software you're using because the software has to be compatible as well. And I can play the H.265 files on my iPhone iPhone 10, so that's nice to know as well. By the way, I don't own a Hero 6, and I also don't snowboard. So quick shout out, Warren, thank you so much for sharing your 4K snowboarding run with me so that I can complete this video. I don't know if you're looking for any new YouTube subscribers, but guys, Warren is an active member of the GoPro Enthusiast Facebook group, he has some great examples of vacation GoPro videos and things like that over on his channel. So you might want to check it out if you're interested in following a fellow GoPro enthusiast. So thanks again, Warren. So the good news with the Hero 6 is that you don't have to shoot in that HEVC format. It's actually only gonna record in the HEVC format if you're shooting super high resolution, high frame rate footage, like 4K 60 or 1080 240. And GoPro has a handy chart on their website that tells you exactly which combinations are going to utilize that H.265 format. And I'll link to that below because it also tells you which phones and computers are compatible with this new format as well. Plus, when you set your camera to one of these settings, it's actually gonna give you a message. It'll give you a little heads up to just let you know that the phone or computer may have some compatibility issues. So if you wanna shoot an HEVC because you want those high resolution, high frame rates, or maybe you already shot something like that and you wanna know how to use it on your phone or your computer, there's a really simple conversion process. You can use a free software called Handbrake. It's actually available for Mac and PC. So of course I'm on a Mac. So I'm gonna open this up and it's gonna ask us to select a file. I'm just gonna hit this one here that Warren sent me. Right up here on the top left, we have this source file information. This is a 4K file. And actually down here at the bottom, it tells us that we have a 4,000 to 3,000 resolution. So this is a 4K file with a four to three ratio. So right here in the middle under output, we need to select
select a destination. So this is gonna go right here on my desktop. We wanna change the file name to something else. So I'm just gonna put dash two here. And then under the video codec portion, we wanna make sure that we have H.264 selected. We're gonna leave everything else as is and then just hit start. So this is gonna take a little while. It's a one and a half gigabyte file. I think it's three, three and a half minutes long or so. Uh, so it's gonna take a little bit for my computer to crunch all that data and turn that file into an H.264 file that I can watch on my computer and my phone and edit it in you know, whatever video editing software that I choose. It ended up taking like uh, a few hours. To be honest, I don't know how long it took, but it was really slow going. So to recap, the H.265 file format is essentially the next generation of file formats allowing manufacturers like GoPro to give us the ability to capture super high resolution, high frame rate videos and still maintain that high quality after it's compressed. So if you have a GoPro Hero 6, congratulations, you're on the cutting edge of video technology. Now hopefully someday this video will be obsolete and we'll all be using Using the H.265 format and nobody will need to know how to convert those files or anything like that. But in the meantime, I hope this was helpful for you. And if it was, smash that like button for me. Smash it. And don't forget about the three common GoPro traps that I want to help you stay out of. You can hit the link in the description below and let me know in the comments if you have any what the fudge GoPro questions that I can answer for you here on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe to see if I answered them. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I'll link to that low of the uh, way to break it down for me, Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't even know what I just read.